मैं उस देश की नागरिक हूं जहां छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज और सम्राट अशोक जैसा राजा था मैं उस देश की नागरिक हूं जहां हर पचास मील पर रूप पहनावा मजहब बदल जाता था मैं उस देश की नागरिक हूं जहां डाल डाल पर सोने की चिड़िया को पाया जाता था मैं उस देश की नागरिक हूं जिसे अपने भूगोल के पहले इस ब्रह्मांड का भूगोल समझ आता था a very frenetic morning to honorable prime minister sir respected minister sir this is shweta umre from government institute of forensic sciences rashtra sant tukaroji maharaj university nagpur maharashtra today i will be speaking on the topic connecting india economically culturally and geographically now when i look at this topic i can see two aspects the first aspect is how do we connect india to itself the second aspect is how do we connect india to other countries globally so when i talk about the first aspect i dearly feel that india is already a connected nation now how nasa has reportedly stated that the sound of the rotation of earth is om and we have been worshiping om we have been worshiping landscapes rivers lakes since ages now which states that our culture is born out of the geography of our country moving ahead to how culture is connected to the economy when i talk on this how can i not talk about the heritage tourism that we have about char dham about golden temple about haji ali dargah about the beautiful churches of goa this heritage tourism generates a revenue for our nation and this revenue helps us build a better a stronger economy and that we have a stronger economy now it is possible for us to reach to the portions of the country that are in the most remote areas and this would lead to not only literate individuals but educated individuals and educated individuals of this nation would arise and develop a better and stronger culture would arise and take care of the geography of their nation and when this would happen our india would arise talking of geography when i see that people who drink water in bengal it comes from the himalayas the people who experience rainfalls in mumbai are the clouds that are coming from gujarat and we have the second largest network of roads in the world thanks to the 3% taxpayers of this country ahead i would like to state how india is getting connected to other countries globally India has always been rich in cultivable land rich in heritage and rich is amongst all of you beautiful youth people of this country this is the reason why countries like superpowers want to come to us and invest on our land this does not only bring pride and respect to my country it also generates a very strong economical relationship with countries that are more developed than ours This is how economical bonds form between two countries and this is how we start understanding each other's geography and when economy and geography of two countries mix there is a exchange of cultures we adapt their culture they adapt our culture with this i would like to state that the only thing that the youth of india can do is to strengthen this connection that already exists within india how can we do this we can do this by taking active participation and understanding what our responsibilities and our duties towards our country our nation our people and the day we realize our responsibilities the day we start working hard the face of this nation will change and let's do this let's hold our hands work even harder and let's do what india was born to do to build love to build respect and to generate peace i would like to end my say with the quote jis din teri fateh ka parcham is mitti par lehraayega jis din teri fateh ka parcham is mitti par lehraayega kya zameen kya aasmaan ye hindustan mil jayega with this i end my say jai hind